So continuing on, we're going to now implement our signature capture. We created a controller here for signature. And in the signature controller, it behaves very similarly to taking a picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove a few methods we won't be using again. We'll have an index action, a new action, and a delete action. In our new action, instead of creating a new object, we're going to use the signature tool. So we have now changed our take our new creation to a take this signature, which behaves just exactly as you would have for the uh, camera callback. When you take a, a camera picture, it has a method and a callback. Uh, same thing with barcode and same thing with the signature. And you'll find that's the common case with several of the native device features is you call out to the device to do something and it will call back and tell you that action has been completed. So now that we have a callback, we actually have to implement this callback. In this, we're going to check the status. If the status is OK, we will create a new signature from the image that was captured. So what you see here is we're creating a new ROM object with the signature URI is going to be the parameter signature URI. So the signature callback behaves, as I mentioned before, just like the image callback where you have a params, it comes with a status, it's either OK, uh, I believe, or cancel. And what happens is it gives you the URI for the image that was captured for the signature. So one thing we have to do is make sure our ROM objects support the blob. So let's finish up this callback here. So we'll save this and then web view navigate. So this is all we need for capturing signatures. And we're actually going to store signatures into our ROM database. So we have our signatures is going to find all that are in the ROM database. New takes a new signature and the callback stores that signature into the database. And delete is if we have a delete link. So we'll save that. One thing we have to do since we're storing blobs in a ROM database is we have to go to our model and specify that what is going to be our blob. 
So we're going to say property signature URI blob. And this is just simply stating that our signature URI field is going to be storing blob objects. Finally, we need to go to our index page. And on our index page, we need to put some links here to go to our signature capture. So I'll copy this and post that up here. We'll change our href to be new. And we'll just call this one capture sig. Next thing we need to do is display them after they're done. So we'll just add uh, an image tag here. And we'll have an action to delete if we want to get rid of our signatures. Save that. So now that we have all of the signature capture implemented, uh, currently this feature is only available on iPhone. It was just added to the master branch on Wednesday. So we'll use our rake run iPhone to take a look at what our signature capture is. And so the barcode is supported on more than just iPhone. Currently, it's supported on iPhone, Windows Mobile, and Android. I'm not sure if it has yet been put into the BlackBerry tree. But the plan is to have barcode out on the platforms when it is completed and when Rhodes 2.1 has been created stable. this is doing the iPhone build since this is the first time building uh, which you will see when you use a freshly checked out repository it has to go and build all of the all of the pieces of roads before adding your application So my iPhone simulator has started up here. See my bars application. I have my link to signature capture and a button called capture sig. So it opens up our signature capture page. So what the user can do is draw their signature here. If they didn't like it, you can hit the trash button and try again. Like done. So you can see it has saved into our ROM object. If we want to capture another signature, we can go ahead and capture another signature. And you can see it has saved that as well. Or we can delete the signatures. So basically is uh, a drawing pad that allows you to draw on the screen. You can cancel and it won't save it. 
So one helpful thing for debugging is if you can see as we have been doing this the screen is flashing something that looks like an error message behind it. So if we hit the back button because we're just moving around with Navigate, if we go back we can see here's what our error message is. And it's saying undefined method title for nil class uh, in eval line 3 which means that is happening in our ERB file and it is the render that's happening from signature controller line 17. So if we go and look at our our application go to our signature controller line 17 is rendering our action new since we have changed the code and are no longer filling in the proper variables for our new action we're getting an error on our new ERB and saying at signature.title when we remove the code populating at signature so what we're going to do here since we want this signature capture to go back we're just going to change this from render action new to uh, redirect back to our index page once we've done that we can do rake run iPhone again this time the build is going to be much faster you're going to have all the code compiled already and it's just building your application now and it actually rebuilds binary extensions such as barcode since we have barcode enabled we saw it rebuild barcode there as well so we'll go back to our signature capture since we stored the images in ROM, it still has what we were doing last time. We can delete that. We can go ahead and capture a new signature. And this time, we didn't see that error message flash. And if we hit the back button, the error has been fixed. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to open this on your device. So we'll exit the simulator. To run this on iPhone, we have to say rake switch app, and that tells our roads, uh, our roads installation where our current app we're working with, because when we're running from the Xcode project, it's running out of the repository instead of from our current application. So we have to tell it which application we're building. So now we're going to go ahead and open the Xcode project. So that's in platform iPhone row runner dot Xcode project. Xcode is going to go ahead and launch. I will connect my iPod here. It's going to try to launch iTunes. We'll wait for that to finish. That's fine. We'll go back to our Xcode. And we have this set to our device. You need to make sure that you have your developer code signing to get it to the device. Uh, we actually went through all the steps of setting this up on a uh, previous webinar that demonstrate the accelerometer. So I'm not going to go over those again. We'll hit build and run. It's going to do the comp compilation and build succeeded and it's installing it on the iPod. And again with attaching to the debugger you can select GDB here and you will see GDB loading and your row log will actually be output to this console from the device. The disadvantage of running it with the debugger attached is that it runs very slowly. It takes a significant time to start up and loading pages and navigating between pages it's slower because of all the debug information. But we can see that that has been launched so let me start my 
camera here again. So you can see we have our iPhone that has our app running. I'm going to select Signature Capture. It has one that I had before since it still has the ROM database and I was testing this before so we'll go ahead and delete that signature. We have our Capture Sig page. We'll select that. We now have our blank drawing canvas. So I'll go ahead and put a signature on the device and select the Done button. And what we see is what I just drawn as a signature captured on the device. And we can go back and look at our GDB log. And you can see all of the debug information that is happening as I was navigating between pages, opening and saving. And you can turn log level on higher and it's very useful for debugging your application if it's not running properly on the device. With the caveat that it makes it run very slowly when the debugger is attached. So that is how you do signature capture and barcode working with the latest tree of roads.